Discover friends, Miss Judy here with another episode of Discover Time. But today, not at the West End Library. As you can see, I am in an undisclosed location. The reason for this is I'm not going to be at the library on Tuesday. So we decided to film this ahead of time. So it's actually Sunday. Sunday evening. Well, I don't have a very long uh, discover time for you today, but let's go ahead and get started. We'll go with the calendar first. And I don't know how well you can see this. Um, we are in the month of April, the second month of spring. Today is Sunday. How do you like that? Um, we are in spring, we said. Okay, there's spring. And the weather today, it rained a good part of the day. Where's my rain one? There. The sun came out a little bit late this afternoon, but most of the day it was pretty rainy. All right, here is our April calendar. As you can see, our color of the month is purple here. April 2021. This is today, right here, Sunday, April 11th. Um, Tuesday would be here, April 13th. Um, let's say, you know what? We've already learned all the days of the week this year, ever since we started in September. So we're going to review the days of the week this month. And I made some days of the week cards so we could do that now if if we were together i could spread these cards out on a table and mess them up and you could help me put them back in order but we can't be together so we'll just we'll just read them for today all right sunday monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, seven days in a week. Okay, our color for April is purple. A lot of people like purple. I think it's kind of a restful color. Our shape for April is the oval. There's no sides, there's no corners, but it's not perfectly round, is it? It's kind of a stretched out circle, an oval. Our nursery rhyme for April is Old Mother Hubbard. Try and say it with me. Old Mother Hubbard went to her cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone. When she got there, the cupboard was bare, so the poor dog had none. Poor doggy. All right. In April, our number is eight. Eight, you can see eight spots here one two three four five six seven eight our first letter for april is v v makes the v sound like room or vacuum view we have a nice view out of our window Video. We watched a video today. Very. It was very rainy today. W. W makes the w sound. W. We. We. We just ate supper wash tomorrow i will wash 
some clothes. Walk. If it hadn't been raining, we would have gone for a walk. X. Now, X is a tricky letter. It's hard to find words that begin with X. A lot of words have X in them, but they don't start with X. X makes a X sound, kind of like the letter K K, and the letter S S, X, combined. Xylophone, and that doesn't make the X sound. A xylophone, oh, that's right. I was going to get the xylophone to show you next week. I'm not at the library, so I don't have my xylophone next week. X-ray, x-ray. The dentist took an x-ray of my teeth. X-ray. All right. Our book for today is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. He wrote the words and drew the pictures. And the book, let's see here. <laughs> Was printed by Penguin Putnam Books for Young Readers in New York City. Okay, so let's get started with it. Here's a picture of a sunshine. It says he wrote it for his sister, Krista. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There's the little egg laying on the leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and a very hungry caterpillar. This is a long book, so I might have to show you like this. Can you see that? There is the tiny hungry caterpillar and Mr. Sun. The caterpillar started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. There's the sun and Mr. Caterpillar. Here is the apple. And if you, if I can do it, can you see the hole in that apple? He ate through the apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. There's the two pears. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, three, but he was still hungry. There's the three plums. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. Four strawberries. You see them? Yum. I like strawberries. Not after they've had a caterpillar, though. You know. <laughs> On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Look at five. He made a hole in five oranges. Oh no, look here. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. I'm going to move the book this way so you can see all the food he ate his way through. Now, if I ate all that food, I would probably have a stomach ache too. 
I don't know if you can see it, but there he is. He looks kind of sick. Like, ugh, I ate too much. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. There, see? There's the green leaf and the caterpillar's on this side. He's feeling better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. Look at how big and fat he got here. And this is the cocoon he built around himself. He's inside there. I wonder what's going on inside that cocoon. I'll just turn the page and we'll find out. He pushed his way out and oh, he was a beautiful butterfly. Oh, look at him. Can you see him? Maybe if I bring the book back. Oh, beautiful. And that is the end of the story. What a great story. This book is available at the West End Library if you would like to borrow it and read it for yourself. We have quite a few of Eric Carle's books there, and you're welcome to borrow them if you have a library card or a parent who has one. Well, that's all I have for today. I'm sorry I won't be able to see you at the library. We're hoping maybe next fall we can get back together again. But Take care of yourselves, wash your hands, wear your masks, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.